Welcome back to Let's Play Picnic Panic, the DLC chapter for The Messenger. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, we uh, surfed over to Voodkin Island on that uh, skull thing over there. Skull Mount is what he called it. I also earned this achievement. Rocked Opus. Defeat Octo. Yes, we uh, had a boss a very difficult boss fight against a squid who turned out to be Ruxton's adopted mother. It's a very strained relationship with his parents, I gather. You should really go talk to them, I'm just saying. Damn it, I thought it was being clever. Whoa, you're new. Oh shit, you're not one of the green ones recolored. Jeez. Wait, that's a down. Okay. I kinda wish I could turn the uh, Demon's Bane... hello. Oh look, little Tiki Man! Great! And a store. Nope, fuck this, I'm going home. <laughs> oh look, the gang's all here. Great. Fantastic. God, do I want to ask... Ah, the messenger! I was expecting you a bit sooner. Hey, I like what you've done to the place. Excuse me? Well, it's like the tiki shop or whatever. Oh, you're one of those. One of who? The people who can always who always assume everything should be defined from their perspective. No, what is like the tiki shop? Sure, let's disregard that maybe it's just the shop to me, and that I would probably perceive the one from your world as the arcane shop. Or whatever. <laughs> Okay, yeah, in this universe, all of the shops look like this. After all, I'm the one visiting here, right? I bet you reply with the name of your town and people take turns saying which country they came from. Anyway, welcome to the shop. I'm glad it pleases your egocentric eye. Oh, I also just attuned your scroll to the tropics. You should be able to see the time rifts now. Need anything? So, Voodkin Island. Oh yeah. Enjoy the tropics and try not to harm the little Voodkin too much. They're not evil. I'm liking the place so far. The weather is really something unique. What's wrong? Look, I accepted long ago that our conversations wouldn't be the most engaging, but talking about the weather is where I draw the line. <laughs> Ow! That one hurt! Ooh! Do you have any stories to share? Alternate one. Of course I do. Does this area look like it's part of a tacked-on wannabe Metroidvania to you? And here we go. Screenshot. Which story will it be? Maybe I could tell you about the evil genie who would always corrupt the owner's wishes so that the one asking to fly could never land, and the one asking to know everything could never talk or write. Sure, that sounds interesting. Or maybe I can tell you about the little boy who always wanted to be a warrior and became a sword swallower after hearing that we are what we eat. What? Oh, I know. Here's one for you. There once was a family of innkeepers operating their business in a world devoid of physical boundaries. Indeed, the establishment had an endless amount of rooms to rent. And business was so good, each and every one of them was occupied. Still, new customers would keep coming in and be given a room right away. Wait, how can someone rent a room if there is no vacancy? Unprecedented, right? You see, living in a boundless world comes with a few perks. Thus, even though all of the rooms were occupied, the possibilities with them were as endless as the corridor they belonged in. Or two. So the new customer would always get room number one, and then have to ask the customer that was already there to move to room number two, who would then ask that other customer to do the same for number three, and so on forever. It might take a few moments to wrap your head around this, but given the endless amount of rooms, there would always be a next room to go to and ask the customer there to move over to the next one. 
And while that was certainly bound to cause discomfort to an unfathomable amount to an unfathomable amount of people, the fact still remained that every new customer would get a room even though there was no vacancy. That's sorta of neat. Sort of, yes. And speaking of neat, one can seldom imagine the housekeeping costs that the innkeeper family eventually determined that there needed to be some sort of boundaries. For their inn to be manageable, the number of rooms had to be finite. They called this concept infinity. <sighs> I'm not even gonna say anything. Eventually, the passage of time blurred this story as it does all things, changing the word spelling to infinity and inverting its meaning. The end. Really? Really what? I can't believe this. You dragged me through all of that just for a stupid pun at the end? You know what I can't believe? That after all these stories, you still won't think past the surface. Or do you simply not care that I've managed to teach you how it's actually possible to do infinity plus one by conceptualizing ensembles with properties capable of perpetual movement in a way a five-year-old would understand? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's the proper, that's the appropriate response right there. Thought so. Okay, these are all the same. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do that. Holy fuck. Okay, it does have a limited ending eventually. What are those in the corner? Oh god! So which section of the mainland is this supposed to be? Hmm. It's not the Riviere. There's not enough water on the land for that. Man, I don't know. I'll just assume the elemental skylands fell down or something. <laughs> 45 out of 40 fucking 5. Hells yeah. Wait, are you telling me all of those feathers are in the first level? Sucks. Well, some things never change. Wait. How is my collection here? I'm not gonna ask. Glad to see my rope dart is being put to good use. Nice! I'm really fond of that one, actually. Wacha! Right now, fucking around in here. Adventure awaits! I wonder if there are 16 bit errors. Oh, yeah, of course there are, because he said you can see the time ref. Send hey, here's one here. Hey, guys, how's it going? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit. I genuinely thought they were going to attack me when that ran out, but okay. I kind of want to know if I can attack them, since I was told not to do it, but that would be a dick move. Ooh. Oh, god damn it! Death to you. It's nice to have the range again. Ooh. Those ones seem grosser somehow. Jesus, those guys are way worse than the other ones. Uh oh. Oh, I'm very glad I got off at that moment. I am hidden. Ooh. 
No! Dick butt! We're using health here. Oh, it is a collapsy platform. Huh. No! My organs. <sighs> Fucking, I forgot about that already. Piss drink. No. Oh, good. Watch out. And down you go, you little shit. Now what? What do you mean there's a... Oh, the time portal thing, of course. Oh, hey. First one of these I found. Yeah! Go to town! Nah, I'm not gonna go back for that. You know, I was under the impression that this, uh... Literally all I knew about this was that it was called Picnic Panic and that it had a tropical theme. I was under the impression it was with Gaiden going on vacation and running into adventure anyway, but, uh, I like this story about rescuing the Phobicans anyway. Okay. This is what happens to those things if you just let them grow. Stand on that without getting hurt. Rot. Cool! Hi, I broke into your house, so not sorry. Oops. Strange room, and there's an up? I mean, while I'm here, I might as well look. Oh, that's right, yeah, there was a thing at the top, yeah, where I couldn't go. Oh, and the up's actually over there on the other side, my bad. Can I actually? No, I cannot get in there, I think. Fucking. New enemies, that's a fun uh, surprise. I mean, okay, they're all kind of familiar for some... Are you fucking kidding me? It's like someone asked, how can I make all of the existing enemies much, much, much worse? No! I'm not sure what the difference is here. I don't see anywhere to go. Why did I kill that guy? Oh! No. Fucking... There 
is nowhere to go. This is just a portal room. Uh oh. I could have gotten killed on that corner right there. Wait. Okay, just checking there were no, like, hit gaps at the bottom. I was expected to throw a, uh... What do you call it? Through. Of course, there's spikes. There's always fucking spikes. Excellent. Oh, okay. I don't know, still don't know what those are, but they are showing up on the map. I wonder if that's what I was warned about. Ah! Oh, for fuck's sake. That could have killed me, I'm pretty sure. Just saying. You know what? You can stay there. New tunes! Too. You know what? I bet she's just messing with me. I bet this is the I bet this is a special shot for the island. Need anything? Apparently not. I will spend some dollar dues over here. So do I get one of those necklaces? Oh I guess I left it behind with the robes. Fair enough. Let's go with the... Untarde. A hyperactive turtle demon that likes to run and jump. Rumors say one got lost in the cloud ruins. I wonder what that's about. Have you been saving for this one? Ha ha! I mean, I remember seeing places somewhere in the world where the uh, running demons were, were, uh, was kind of stuck. I know for a fact I saw one of those in uh, the infected future, but the less we say about that, the better. Okay. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, that's not usually how elevators work, but it's not an elevator! It's a diving bell. Which is a weird thing to find in a glass box, but okay. I guess there's no reason you couldn't. Diving bells are what they used before they figured out how to put air into tanks. They literally made a thing shaped like a bell, like, uh, eight feet tall, and they lowered it perfectly vertically into the water so that it created a bubble of air inside of it. And then you go diving down, you... They lower you down inside the, uh, the bell, and you swim around to do shit on the bottom of the ocean, and... Well, I say the bottom of the ocean, I mean you don't go into the depths like this. You know, certainly nowhere without light. But, uh... How are they even doing that?! Stupid bubbles. I need to swim back to the, uh... To the bell whenever you need a breath of air. That's what I was going to say there. Alright, what am I missing? Something is nicer in the uh, past. So, if the island doesn't exist in my universe, what happened to these assholes? These tropical flavored demons.
And there's the timer. What's down here? This is. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Messenger. We're going to continue exploring Voodkin Island, and, uh... Frankly, I have no idea. This is exciting for me. <laughs> Later!